Welcome back. We are less than 24 hours out from the great American solar eclipse. This net map right here shows the eclipse's path and how much the sun will be covered depending on where you're at in the United States. Here in the Pacific Northwest, we'll only have about a 20 percentage totality since we're the farthest from the eclipse pathway. That doesn't mean that it won't be safe to or that still doesn't mean it will be safe to watch the eclipse with your bare eyes. Crime News' Nathan Hyun joins us now live in the studio tonight. And Nathan, you had a chance to speak with some of our local experts about what to expect. Yeah, Cody, definitely not in your ideal interest to look at the sun tomorrow without protection, no matter how small the eclipse may be. Right here in Spokane, we're expecting the moon to cover about 26% of the sun. Far, far away. About the furthest you can see is 78 million light years. Past the Milky Way galaxy is how far this telescope can see. Show my nieces and nephews some stuff in the sky. Paul Yo serves as a vice president of the Spokane Astronomical Society. It's angled this way and the light bounces out the eyepiece. He hopes the clouds go away to see the partial eclipse in the sky on Monday. I'll be taking the solar telescope and setting it up for my grandson. I also have welding glass that will be able to look directly at the sun. Yost had interest in astronomy since he was just a little boy. This is the one that got me started in, a, in astronomy. He remembers watching the total eclipse in 2017, a moment he'll never forget. Just all the, the physical phenomenon that, that goes on to have the sun completely blocked out. Now if you don't know, a solar eclipse happens when the moon passes between the sun and the earth. This doesn't happen all the time. In Spokane, we'll only get a fraction of Monday's eclipse. This is approximately how um, eclipsed the sun will be here in Spokane. Gonzaga physics professor Nicole Moore says that doesn't mean it's not dangerous to look at without protection. Definitely do not look straight toward the sun. It can also cause um, blind spots in the center of your vision or near the center of your vision. Moore says the best way to watch the eclipse is using solar eclipse glasses or by making a homemade pinhole camera. You can use any kind of piece of cardboard, something stiff though, um, or cardstock, probably not just printer paper, and then cut out a little square or rectangle, put some foil in, and then you can poke a hole through the foil. With Luckily for Yost, you can see sunspots. He has a solar telescope that can look directly into the sun. The eclipse is truly amazing. I mean, just you know, these, this orb blocking out the sun. The entire eclipse event will take place for about two hours late Monday morning in Spokane. The highest percentage of eclipse coverage will take place right around 11.35 a.m. I did reach out to the Mobius Discovery Center and the Spokane Library System if they plan on doing anything for the eclipse, but they say they will not since we are not in the direct line of the eclipse. In the studio, Nathan Hyun, Crime 2 News.